Meningitis shot does not protect against most common causes of meningitis. And that's something to really understand and remember. My name is Cheng Ron. I am the founder and CEO of Texas Center for Lifestyle Medicine. Today I'm going to talk about the meningitis shot. And so um, the disease meningitis is actually the infection of the lining of the brain and spinal cord. And this could be very painful and can be very deadly. Uh, but in reality, most causes of the uh, disease meningitis is caused by either viruses or is caused by some bacteria, the most common being uh, streptococcus pneumonia. And the second one uh, being the second most common in terms of bacterial uh, infections is Neisseria meningitis. So the, the meningitis shot actually uh, covers against the, the, the deadly strains of Neisseria meningitis, not the streptococcus pneumonia and not the viral uh, causes of meningitis. So it's really important to, to know that. And so the who should be really receiving the meningitis shot. So the CDC recommends uh, routine um, meningococcal conjugate vaccine uh, for um, teens at age 11 to 12 with a booster dose at 16 years old. And also children and adults at increased risk for um, meningococcal disease. So once again, the word meningococcal really means infection uh, by the Neisseria meningitis bacteria. And then there's another group of meningococcal vaccine called serogroup B uh, meningococcal vaccine. And that's for uh, people age 10 or older at increased risk for uh, the meningococcal disease as well. And so who are at risk for the diseases? And that comes from a, a wide variety of people. People with hereditary disorders like sickle cell disease and other, other immune deficiency disorders uh, who, are, who can get meningitis and have a very bad outcome should be getting these vaccines. And these are very high risk people. Uh, and so let's talk about um, the, the types of vaccines that these really are. So these are vaccines that are delivered um, without um, the really controversial ingredient uh, called thimerosal or mercury. And so um, the reason why a lot of uh, manufacturers that produce these vaccines use um, uh, preservatives is so that they can keep the dose stable and preserved and um, tox uh, contaminant free um, using this thimerosal. And that's what we call a multi-dose vial. So the vials are designed for multiple people. Uh, so there's some likelihood that there's gonna be thimerosal in it. Um, but if you uh, look at vaccines that are given in single vial doses, where it's not given to multiple people, those generally do not contain thimerosal uh, or mercury. So it's really important to see uh, which one you're getting uh, if you're concerned uh, about this uh, preservative uh, ingredient. Um, but overall, does it work? Yes, the vaccines work for those specific strains of uh, Neisseria meningitis. Does it work against all um, uh, meningitis, uh, the disease of meningitis? And the answer is no, it doesn't work against the viral causes and doesn't work against some of the other bacterial causes like streptococcus pneumoniae or hemophilus influenza and, and other different things. Um, interesting enough, um, we talk about streptococcus pneumoniae being the number one bacterial cause of meningitis. Uh, you may be protected with that by the pneumonia shot and not the meningitis shot because the pneumonia shot actually protects you against uh, streptococcus pneumoniae, which can cause the disease pneumonia, as well as um, as well as uh, meningitis, and so those are things to really think about. Uh, this video is not designed to push you one way or another; really, just to give you some education so you can make the best decision for yourself. Thank you.